In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write all of your quiz questions in a special text file and import it into Adobe Captivate 12.3. So today I'm going to show you how you can write all of your quiz questions, many dozens if not hundreds of quiz questions, in what is known as a comma-separated value file. It's a type of text file that separates all your data points using commas. Very simple, straightforward. You could open it in Notepad. More conveniently though, you can open it in a spreadsheet and open it in an application just like Microsoft Excel and work on all that data, put in all of your questions, all of your answers, and indicate the type of question that you're creating, the number of points, and so on. And then very easily import this. The advantage of doing this is that you can use a document like Excel on any PC, and anyone can do it. Uh, for example, a subject matter expert could do this work for you, and then you, of course, uh, being the one who has Adobe Captivate 12.3 or newer, would be able to import it and within seconds have all of your quiz questions inside of Captivate. Let me show you. Conveniently, Adobe has provided you with a sample CSV file located in the Adobe Captivate folder that's installed on your computer under a subfolder called Gallery and a subfolder under that called Quiz. I'm going to go ahead and open this up using uh, Microsoft Excel, but you could also just use Notepad or TextEdit, anything like that, although it's going to be a lot easier if you do it in Microsoft Excel. So the, you'll see across the top, these are all the data points that you need to provide here. So let's just take a look at this file. The first column is question type, and there are five different types of questions that you can use in this particular case. Probably best to turn your cap locks on. The types of questions you can use are multiple choice, true false, matching, sequence, and short answer. This next column you can assign the number of points that you wish to award for each question. And this next column is where you're going to put the question stem. In other words, the actual question that you will be asking your learners to do. So I have some already written out here. So for multiple choice, I'm going to put in, select the correct answer, how many provinces and territories are in Canada. For my true false question here, I'm just going to put in, select either true or false. Canada is the largest country in the world. For my matching question, I'm going to put in here, match the Canadian political party with its ideology. And for my sequence question, I'm going to put in, the following is a list of Canadian prime ministers. Place them in order from earliest to newest. And for my short answer example, I'm just going to put in, who is the present prime minister of Canada? So that goes in column C. In column D, E, F, and so on, you're going to put in the answers that you have for these particular questions, right? For answer option one, for my multiple choice, I'm going to put my correct answer first, but you don't have to do this. To indicate which is the correct answer, have it start with a star or an asterisk. And the answer is 10 provinces and three territories. I'll put some distractors in here now. I'm just going to copy and paste those from my source document here. And we'll just move over a little bit here. Now there are additional columns for additional answers right up to a maximum of 15. But you know, you don't have to use them all. You can leave them blank. That's not a problem here. So let's go back. Our next question is true or false. Canada is the largest country in the world. That's in fact actually false. Answer one, which will be true. And the correct answer will be star and type in the word false. Now in the case of a matching question, what you need to do is create a match for each of my answer options. And how you indicate a match is using what is known as the pipe symbol. That's the key that's usually above your enter key on your keyboard. 
but if you want the pipe symbol, you have to press shift to get that. So for example, in this case here, liberal is going to be in the left-hand column. I'm gonna add the pipe there and we'll add social liberalism. And we'll do something similar for conservative, and that would be economic liberalism, fiscal conservative, and continue with other answers as well here. Now my fourth answer is Bloc Québécois, which is Quebec nationalism here. When you import this, it's not going to like the accents on the E, so I'm just going to take those out. I could always add them back in once it's back in Adobe Captivate. The next one is a sequence question. The following is a list of Canadian Prime Ministers. Place them in order from earliest to newest. This is really simple to do. You simply place them in the order that is considered the correct answer. So in this example here, we'll use Jean Chrétien. Paul Martin was next. Stephen Harper and Justin Trudeau. Okay, and they'll automatically be jumbled up once you, you know, import this into Captivate and run it. So who is the present Prime Minister of Canada? We simply put in, this is short answer, so they need to type in. It's kind of like fill in the blank a little bit here. And I'm just going to type in the correct answer as I wish to see it and have it spelled there. So that takes care of all our questions. Now, at the very end, after all the possible answers, there is something called slide type. And there are two types of question slides in Adobe Captivate. There are graded questions, as we have here. And uh, alternatively, you could have knowledge check. KC for knowledge check. I'm going to keep these all graded because I want a graded quiz here. Then I'm simply going to save this file as, and I'll browse to where I want to save it. In this case here, I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call this Canada quiz. Don't change it from comma delimited or comma separated values CSV and just save that there. We can now, of course, close Microsoft Excel. Let's go ahead and open up Adobe Captivate at this point, and I'll start a new project. And there's two ways you can import these question slides. You can select File, Import, and select Import CSV, or you can click on the blue new slide icon and select Import CSV down here at the bottom here next to all your other question slides. So I'm going to go ahead and do it from there. I'm going to select CanadaQuiz.csv and we'll go ahead and press open and everything came in fine. Now there is the possibility of questions coming in and not being recognized properly. The formatting in your CSV file is off. You know, you're missing something like, for example, the slide type at the end, and you'll see an error message and you'll have the ability to save that error as a log file and it will tell you exactly what you need to adjust to fix the problems that you're experiencing here. But let's take a look at this here, for example, Here's my multiple choice, and the answer has already been configured to be the first one there. And of course, you can further customize this. So for example, one of the things that you might want to do is turn on shuffle answers so that, you know, 10 provinces and three territories is not always the first answer here. For true false, again, we can see that false is selected as the correct answer. Again, the points have been already applied, so you don't need to worry about that. Here's our matching. We've got Liberal, Conservative, New Democratic, and Bloc Québécois. And of course, in each of these dropdowns, you'll have um, you know, these answers that you see here. Here's the sequence. So you're seeing the correct order here. When you run this, you'll see them all jumbled up and you just need to place them in the correct order and there's nothing to preview there. You just need to make sure that they're in the correct order. And question five, which is a short answer here, you can see that Justin Trudeau is the correct answer here. One of the things that uh, you'll want to do is maybe turn off case sensitive so that if someone types in lowercase Justin and lowercase Trudeau, they'll still get the correct answer. And obviously like all 
quiz questions in Adobe Captivate. It's going to generate a quiz results slide for you. But this is a real easy way to import a whole mess of questions and not have to configure them one by one directly inside Adobe Captivate. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.